Hey yeah, guys, so so this is Lane, and today, and I know it's a little bit late, but I'm just gonna be making a quick, very quick video. Um, today I am so gonna be making the part three video on um on what I hate about Pride Month, but that's not this video. That's gonna be coming out at. Um, you, you could look for anywhere from, tw I'm going to be saying this in military time, so 12 to 13 or 1400, meaning 12 to 1 or 2 in the morning, but the, vi but what I'm, but what, I'm actually wanting to get down to is it's gonna it's gonna sound surprising but once I say everything I mean to say it's not gonna be if that makes sense so I was just watching a video on on so on people who Oprah Winfrey endorses and with that being said, surprisingly enough, I actually want to say thank you, Oprah, because I know not to listen to those same people, because she only endorses for teachers. She only endorses feel-good teachers and and false preachers. And and, mo and motivational speakers at best, who's got no backbone to sa to stand and preach repentance, to teach repentance, and to say what the Bible actually says. Instead, they take they at best take the Bible out of context and 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 Joel Osteen. I don't know that I've ever heard him preach out of one Bible verse. Uh, where are these people coming from? Where are these people sprouting up from? Proclaiming to be a Christian and yet, and yet they don't, they don't lead, they don't lead by, by preaching what, what the Bible actually preaches and teaches itself. What Jesus actually taught, what his apostles taught, what his disciples taught, what the current church teaches. Okay, I'm, I know, I know what I just said could be misinterpreted, so I'm clarifying this. I'm clarifying this right now. The current church teaches. What I meant by that, what I meant by that is. The historic and current church can be very, very similar. Um, but the main, the the main thing, though, I think would be. To be a member of the, wait, hold up, uh, oh, I was getting all, all off track because, as I said, it's, it, it is late, but, um, don't forget, we are disciples, and I'm not about to say those modern day prophets and apostles because that's not the last the last true apostle was Saul of Tarsus before I mean, after he came after he became Paul. Um, that's it. There's n there's no more apostles after that. 
So with that being said, what then do I mean by a disciple? A disciple is just a follower of. So in this case, a Christian will be a follower of Christ. And 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 if you break down the the um, um I don't know how to say it, but but it's basically like the core root of a word. If you actually break down the core root of the word Christian, it means Christ like. And so that's another that's another definition for it. It it so it's a two part definition. One to be a follower of Christ and two to actually live by the example of Christ. And um and with that being said Again, I just want to thank Oprah Winfrey for pointing out for us teachers and preachers are a lot easier. That can make my job a lot easier. So here's here's some false teachers and preachers just off the top of my head I can think of. Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes, Carl Lentz from Hair Song, uh... What's his name? Bill Johnson. There we go. Bill Johnson from Bethel. Uh, oh. Oh. Collins. <laughs> He's... His doctrine has never been officially rebuked by what uh I think that was her song. His legend has never been rebuked by her song on especially on this one topic. Where where Carl Lentz quoted John fourteen six but he made a very, very full statement. <laughs> Hold on. Alright. So I'm just going to go ahead. Flip it all open to John 14.6. Of course, you can probably guess what version this is, King James. John fourteen six says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. With that being said, it seems very clear and dry. Right? Right? I should think so. How, how did he mess it up this bad? Carl Lentz said that, <laughs> said that in John fourteen six, that same verse I just said, that Jesus was essentially saying, I am the, the road marker. That's it. If that's what he was meaning, then why? Then why didn't he just say it? Good, good example. Paul, uh, Paul Washer. He's a great missionary. He's he said this. He said, "Are you gonna let Christ? I mean, are you gonna let yourself define who Christ is for you?" Or are you going to let Christ defend himself for you? Essentially saying, are you going to let the Bible defend who Christ is? Or are you going to make up a false Christ? And that's exactly what progressive Christians are doing. 
progressive croissants are making it frost crust. The one who who seemingly don't who doesn't doesn't care about 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 gay marriage, about about abortion, about drinking, about about gambling, about 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 porn, about uh, about idolatry, about witchcraft, about all these things. I don't know what they're on. It honestly, if I if I was even remotely close to being any one of them, I don't I don't even care for for me to say this. I don't. But if I was one, I, if if I was just if I was this li- if I was that tiny, if I was just a little bit close. If I was a little bit close to being anything like one of them, I'd try seeing my brain for lack of support. <laughs> so I'm uh, so I'm gonna try to to just barely touch up on this a little bit more, and then and then I'll and then I'll cut the video. But with that being said, guys, these people are far from true preachers. These people are far from true true teachers. And again, like I like I made brief mention of, there is no modern day apostles. There is no false prophets. So don't heed that. Don't heed that prophecy. Don't heed anything like that. Just. How? I, I I just not thought about this. How could somebody believe in a closed canon, essentially saying that the Protestant Bible is sufficient? Okay. I don't think I'm going. Uh, I don't think I'm going too fast there. Who, who can claim they believe in? Modern day prophets, modern day apostles, and yet believe in a close canon. What the crap? That is so confusing. I don't understand it. There is no way. There is no way to believe in a close canon. Because what if one of those apostles or prophets decided they wanted to have one if if they are a true prophet like they claim they are then how could how could someone who believes who believes in their supposed divine authority how could they try to stop them they wouldn't and that's why they actually need to search out what the Bible says. And to see that the apostles was that the apostles was essentially laying down the foundation. That Jesus was the chief cornerstone and the Okay. Case in point. I've in to, in to a lot of school years, I've I had two semesters in carpentry, and and what a cornerstone is, it's it's what you sit. It's the very first, especially the chief cornerstone. It's the very first cornerstone that everything else rests rest upon. And so, with that being said, the apostles laid the foundation. And everything else just came, just came building that up. But, but these people have no power to give scripture anywhere close to that. So please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, 
Till next post notifications and say you're home is to be eternal next and peace.